uh, it's not easy. You can't get a pilot license and just fly. With that burden in your head, you cannot explore and work on what you really want. You have to take the risks. Usually stereotype you if you stick to and stick to one kind of cinema. One of the biggest challenges that I faced in the movie was half of the time when I was shooting, I uh, I had a mask. It is the same uh, job that we do here in Telugu or in Bombay. It's, it's we act, we are actors. Hi, this is Jaya and you're watching me on Bollywood Now. Today we are in conversation with Varun Tej. Hi Varun, hi, welcome hi, to Bollywood Now. Thank you. Kaise ho aap? I'm good, I'm good. Little excited uh, for the release. Enjoying Mumbai? I mean, I didn't get a lot of time to explore. Uh, I mean, this time. But usually I've, I've come to Mumbai quite often uh, in the last 10 years. I did check the city out. But you enjoy giving uh, interviews back to back, promotions? Uh, uh, show me one person who likes it. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, it's 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 part and parcel of uh, being in this industry. Um, I think um, I, mean, I got used to it in the past ten years. I mean, making films and promoting them too. And coming back to movie Operation Valentine, I must say, I just love the trailer. You know, I'm just waiting for movie and looking forward for the film. I just want to ask, uh, what made you choose this film as your first in Bollywood? Uh, it was not a conscious uh, effort. Mm -hmm. I mean that this should be my, uh, the first film that releases uh, simultaneously in uh, right. other languages, right. uh, that is Hindi. Um, the thing is, initially we had plans, but see for us, when you want to uh, cater your film to other languages, one thing is the content has to be universal, uh, something that resonates with a larger section of audience in other, other states as well. And um, putting that aside, even, there's one aspect of film is shooting a film, uh, making it and another part of it is to promote it and take it to the audience. So sometimes when you have budget restraints and all of that, you just cannot for the heck of it say, okay, I'll release my film in other languages and right. just have a release and not promote it and not right. give it that time and effort. Right. So for this, uh, initially from the beginning, the producers had a plan to uh, shoot it. Uh, we shot it bilingual, so we shot it in Telugu and Hindi together. Yeah. So I think that was a conscious effort from the beginning because our, uh, we felt the content of a film is something that will appeal to uh, people from other languages too. So that's the reason. It's a bilingual, you know, but was the language barrier for you, you know? It, it was. Uh, I mean, the thing is, it's, Hindi is not like an alien language. Correct. But I have, I mean, a lot of people in Hyderabad speak Hindi. Um, but I wasn't very familiar because I never had uh, Hindi yes. speaking friends. Okay. So it was good. I learned in school a little bit here and there, but um, I'm, I'm not very familiar, like I'm not very fluent uh, speaking in Hindi. But uh, when my director of this film is a, I mean, he, he speaks Hindi. So that's his uh, mother tongue. Um, so when he came to me with the movie, I somehow figured out, even though we wanted to make it in Telugu, mm -hmm. which was which will kind of be easier for me. Yeah. Uh, I figured it's better we shoot it in Hindi because uh, because it's his vision and he and he'll probably understand it better. Right. Uh, if and when we're shooting it in uh, both languages. Right. You know, Varun, this kind of role needs a special training. Right. I would like to ask from you, did you went through any kind of special training for this? Yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, like, because what? roles like this are not easy and Correct. it's not like uh, you've, you're experienced or you see people like uh, in right. the Air Force in your day-to-day -day life. Right. There's something probably you catch on news or maybe a few handful of films like Top right. Gun or something like that. Um, I mean, there was uh, uh, some homework that we did. Mm. I mean, obviously, uh, we had some IF personal work uh, with us along from the time uh, the movie script was being made, uh, because we wanted it to be. Uh, we wanted this movie to be something that IF was proud of also. Yeah. So we had them uh, working with us mm. from the beginning of the film before the film shoot started. And even after that, we had a couple of uh, IF personnel on set yes. who were trying to correct us, who were trying to get our body language and all of that right. And obviously, we met a lot of fighter pilots, mm -hmm. uh, engaged in a lot of conversation with them, um, got to know about a lot of stories of uh, uh, stories from their missions and all of that, mm -hmm. and about the training and how their day-to-day -day life is to understand so that you know. See, it's very important that uh, you bring some realism into uh, your character when you're right. playing it, right. especially when it's a film like this. Right. Not, not, if it's a commercial flick and all of that, it's okay. Right. You can like play along. But if, it's, if you're donning our, our real heroes of a country, right. I think we need to get the act right. 
Uh, so for that we did a bunch of homework. I mean, obviously getting the body language right yeah. and all of that. But the director also did a lot of uh, research on uh, mm -hmm. research on and on how the IF personal uh, work. The, so bo I think, the yeah. body training. The body the training. Okay. Um, there was there was physical training, obviously, to look okay. the part. Uh, and on, and there's this language. And there's obviously the uh, about the neon, the small small nuances to get them right. The way they sell you, the way they stand, the way they talk. Um, so I think we try to do our best to uh, make it as realistic as possible. Uh, you know the title of the movie is Operations Valentine. Yeah. So people are just assuming कुछ तो उसमें love को लेकर है, कुछ तो there's something related to love, and why it is not releasing on 14th? Or uh, and then we are going to first of March. We have we had a small <laughs> VFX backlog. Okay. That's why we wanted to release it around. I mean, at least it's coming around the same um, hmm. month. Hmm. Um, the thing is, uh, one of the reasons why it's called Operation Valentine is because uh, the movie is based on true events, okay. uh, dated back to 2019. Hmm. Uh, when the Pulwama attack happened, yes, um, and when India retaliated and uh, okay. they had the Balakot air strike, yes. so it's based on that. Mm -hmm. So, so we thought it is only apt to have this title called Operation Valentine because it was India's answer back to what happened in Pulwama. So it was obviously our interpretation around the incident. We got inspired by that, and other than that, um, see, Valentine is basically you associate the word Valentine with love. Yes. Uh, for in this film uh, obviously the love is for the country uh, so we figured right. this is the best title right and you know working with manusi you know mm -hmm. uh, yours is uh, the first in bollywood right. hers is first in tollywood right. and the directors is debuting yeah. so all of them is having the first so kaise aap log teeno ne milkar kaise you know ek dusre ko advice kiya aur kya kya help kiya aapne obviously the biggest help that uh, we could do to one another is the language Uh, we kind of uh, obviously we had a lot of time before we mm. got into shoot, mm. so we did a lot of readings, workshops, and all of that. So that was quite helpful for us to you know first break the ice between us. Uh, I mean, obviously me and Shakti we travel like two years probably before we started shooting. Okay. Manushi joined in like six months or eight mm. months before the shoot mm. started. So we had ample time. So it mm. was quite important for us to as it work as a team together to have that good equilibrium between us. Um, Other than the language, I think see everyone brings something or the other to the table. Yeah. See, other than yeah. see, even if I'm a uh, 12 film old or even mm. Manushi is like three films old, she brings a certain experience that she has onto the table. And even with Shakti, uh, mm. when it comes to VFX or when it comes to being uh, the direction of the script or the research he's done on IF, yes. you know that is something that I don't have have any clue about. Mm. So he brings that to the table. So the, it was like a culmination of all of the, all of the three. Uh, put together, and we try to bring and give the best out for this project. In the trailer also, I saw uh, some of the mid-air shots. Right. Uh, uh, was that real or VFX? I mean, half of yeah. They were. I mean, I can't. Yeah. I don't want to uh, break this thing. But I mean, obviously, you know, it's not. Uh, it's not easy. You can't get a pilot license and just fly. Yes. I mean, there was a mix of VFX, but yeah. we tried to see. We knew that you know, replicating things on VFX. Uh, I mean, with some money in it and putting yes. some time and effort, can be possible. But we figured that going on a very more realistic manner, shooting a real locations, right. is something that we cannot replicate no matter what. Mm -hmm. So from the beginning, this was something that was lingering us. So we said we want to work in real air bases. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we got in touch with the IF, uh, with the MOD, uh, send them our script. Mm. Uh, we, so if they like your script, if they approve it, uh, they will kind of accommodate and will let you shoot in real air bases and all of that. So thank God they really loved our script. They had a mi they had minor changes, yes. which we were t totally okay to do because it was probably we didn't understand how they actually operate. So there were small changes we tweaked, uh, but eventually they let us shoot in uh, Gwalior Air Base. Yes. It is actually probably one of the busiest air bases yes. in the country. Right. And uh, they have about uh, nine to ten squadrons there, and all kinds of fighter pilot uh, fighter jets. Right. So it was so easy for us, and it made our job so much easier. But thanks to IF. Yes, absolutely. And you're looking stunning in that. You know. Tried my best. <laughs> yes, uh, I would like to know uh, what was your family's reaction? You know, after watching you uh, and doing the first in Bollywood, did they give any advice? Uh, I mean. No, no particular advice. The thing yeah. is, it's, see, uh, see, uh, putting the language part aside. Hmm. It is the same uh, job that we do here in Telugu or in Bombay. It's it's we act. We are actors. Yes. So there was no particular advice when mm. it comes to uh, 
how you had to do because you're doing a Bollywood, you're, you're releasing it in Bollywood. Yes. Um, I mean, they were obviously, they were excited because I was, uh, I was taking up uh, a genre which is not explored so much in, not, yes. not at all in the Telugu industry especially. Yeah. Uh, I was personally very uh, kicked about it mm. and so were my family. So they were quite excited. They said, you know, we're very happy that you're picking up. They always liked my choices, right. my brothers and all. They've been yes. very en encouraging in that yes. aspect. Yes. Did you uh, f went through any kind of challenging role, challenging things in this? Or difficulties <laughs> while shooting? I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, obviously when we were doing the VFX part, mm. uh, I mean, shooting with the rigs and all of that, yeah. it is, it's... One of the biggest challenges that I faced in the movie was half of the time when I was shooting, I um, I had a mask uh, covering my face okay. and uh, for the oxygen thing, yeah, huh. and I had a helmet, so it was just my eyes that you can see, huh. and that's about at least twenty minutes or thirty minutes into mm -hmm. the film. You just I'm only emoting through my eyes, so mm -hmm. it's it's not that easy to, you know, uh, I'm usually a subtle kind of an actor. I don't like to over dramatize it yeah. uh, but when all these when your face and your you know head's covered you have to kind of up your act you kind of have to do a little more louder for it to be visible on screen and translate so for that I always uh, me and Shakti were always going back and forth about it but that was more or less uh, the kind of difficulties I faced. Did you find any kind of difference between working uh, here and working there? Like what are the difference between culture or the movie? I mean, like, like, we worked in Tel Hyderabad only. Yeah. Uh, our entire team was from there. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, I did uh, work in uh, uh, here also in Bombay. I've like, mm. shot a couple of ads and all of that. Mm. But I think more or less, I personally feel, because I come from a film, back, film yes. background, mm. so I've seen so many people growing up. And I've, I've been to sets so, so many times, umpteen number of times growing up. See, uh, ultimately a lot of people who are there in this film industry, yes. be it uh, uh, a guy who's holding a light or uh, the guy who's who using the boombox or the Nagara guy or the assistant director. See, they're in this uh, profession pure, mostly and purely for the passion that they have uh, rather than just the money. Yes. I think that is a common factor that drives uh, any uh, a, or any of them in any industry. Yeah. I think this it, it, because of that, you know, I, I love the fact that people are in this for the passion and not just for making a buck. I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, for a livelihood, they work and right. need some money, but yeah. ultimately the passion is what they drives them. And that is the common thing that I see anywhere, uh, be it even in Tamil or Kannada or Malayalam mm -hmm. industry or Hindi for that matter of fact. Yes. But what kind of movies or criteria you have to when you sign a movie, like what genre you prefer to work <coughs> See, for me in the beginning, uh, I mean, I haven't done like tons of films. I've done like, this is my 14th, 14th. 13th film, I think, yeah. yes. Um, in the beginning, I always made sure I wanted to mix it up yeah. because I had a notion that people will usually stereotype you if you stick to and stick to one kind of cinema mm -hmm. or one kind of characters and all of that, uh, certain kind of characters. So I thought from the beginning I have to play it different, I have to play it little uh, uh, and play along with different genres right. so that I don't get stereotyped. So that was a very conscious effort in the beginning. But later there are only a handful of genres that you can explore. Right. So I mean you do action films slowly, you, do, you end up doing a fifth action film but you need to look what is novel about this film that you're picking up. Right. I mean obviously for any film, I think the most important uh, criteria for me is the emotion behind uh, mm. uh, the characters or what the story demands. I think emotion is something that drives and that has no language. I think Absolutely. that's primary uh, thing that I look for in a script. Absolutely. Since you belong to Mega Family, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to know, uh, the, uh, is there any kind of pressure, you know, you have to give best because right. you have already name, fame and everything. Right. There is a sense of uh, responsibility. I, I mm. mean, I don't want to lie about that. Yeah. But um, you cannot function with that responsibility lingering in your head all the time. Yes. You have to let that go and try to explore and try to take those risks. Right. See, ultimately, uh, uh, you'll fall flat is when you let that go and you kind of, you know, um, you know, the thing is, you have to be responsible to a certain extent, but with that burden in your head, you cannot explore and work on what you really want. You have to take the risks, but ultimately, uh, your your effort should not be wrong. You should give your hundred percent to any job that you're assigned. I think that is where your responsibility lies. Once when people see that, okay, he comes from such a family, but you know, he takes things for granted. He's kind of. Uh, not giving his best. That is that is when you have to be like, 
you should check and like fix yourself. But if you are not doing that, if you are not taking your work for granted, if you are giving it your hundred percent, irrespective of uh, a film uh, not working at the box office mm. or a film becoming a blockbuster, mm. your effort should never uh, change. It should be the same, and you have to give your hundred percent. Right, absolutely. I mean, I agree to your points. Mm. Uh, just like that, uh, you mentioned that uh, family, ma you know, there is a responsi sense right. of responsibility you should take. If I can ask you, uh, uh, you know, to bring your own niche in the industry, right. it's always important to bring your own things. Right. Uh, the, my own thing. How do you balance that? The thing is, first, uh, I mean, uh, you should not not try to imitate someone hmm. or mimic their choices of films. Hmm. Uh, you should have your own personality. Uh, you should know what you like. You should yeah. know what suits you well. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you need to play to your strengths. It's in the beginning. See, it cha changes with time in your career. In the beginning, you're okay to trying different things. Hmm. Uh, uh, and you try. You should try to analyze what people are liking you for. And uh, play to your strength, and slowly build that up. It's it's there's no blueprint right. as uh, such blueprint to becoming right. an actor. It's always um, it, there's always a trial and error. Right. Uh, you kind of keep figuring it out uh, as time progresses. Right. Um, you just keep figuring it out. That's it. Correct. And lastly, I would like to ask you know friends, uh, my friend, many of my friends mm -hmm. and the journalists, the press, they all say na South actors are very very humble. You know, okay. when it comes to time, when it comes to in giving interviews, when it comes to uh, how do you see that? How do you look that? I mean, I I've, I've seen that in the industry, but I uh, I mean I don't know. I, I cannot answer <laughs> why, but it's always been like that. Mm. Uh, especially, I mean, I can talk for people in my family because I've seen them growing up. Yeah. Um, see, um, when, when my uncle started acting in mm. films, see, he, he, his dad was a constable. He comes from a very normal background. Right. Um, see, for him, it was pure passion. Right. And see, even now, we, it, it, that's the thing, you know, again, going back to what I earlier said, yes. uh, it's about not taking things for granted and mm. giving it to 100 percent and working right. hard. Right. I think maybe this being punctual or being humble uh, comes from that. Mm -hmm. And um, even as you're growing as an actor, you know, you in in life, not just an actor, you never stop learning. Correct. I think even uh, that aspect of always trying to be, always trying to be on the look uh, to learn new things, mm -hmm. uh, to grasp new ideas, is probably something that keeps people very humble. Right. Uh, you, once you think you know it all. Uh, I think that's the last day. Yeah, <laughs> and you never what's the plan for Valentine? Uh, if I get a break, maybe I'll like spend some time with my wife, uh, <laughs> oh, take nice. her out for dinner or something. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. with Thank me. You, it was Jan. great See, chat, you know. So Hi guys, this is Varun Tej. Uh, you're watching Bollywood now. Um, my new movie, Operation Valentine, is releasing on the first of March in theaters near you. Please go watch it.